Hello guys, welcome to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Sarah Louise Brown and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I nail my classic go-to winged eyeliner look. I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks throughout the video, so if you want to know how I nail this look, then just keep watching. So first things first, before we get into the eyes, um, I always like to do my base first. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Face Studio Prime, and this is the Hydrating Primer. So I just take about a centimetre of the product, work it into my fingertips, and then just apply it on my face. But um, try and be really gentle around the eye area because that is the most delicate area of your face. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid, and I am in the shade Nude. Now I love this foundation and that's purely because it is a nice, nice coverage but it also feels super light on my skin as well. And so when I'm packing it on as I do, I don't feel like I am like suffocating under my skin. Next, it's time to conceal those under eyes and the high points of your face. And to do that, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Concealer. And this one is in the shade Light Medium. Now to do this, I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand, take my blending sponge, dip it in, and just bounce it underneath my eyes. Now to set my base, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this one is in the shade Light Medium. Now for this one, I just like to kind of loosen the lid a little bit and then flip it, give it a tap, <laughs> and then the product will come out in the lid. And then I just press it in my face. And as you can see, that worked literally straight away. Minimal effort. And I tell you what, if I'm not feeling myself too much, but I'm looking a little bit airbrushed. Here. Time to add some dimension. So I'm going to contour my face to add a bit of dimension to my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face. And I'm doing that with the Maybelline Master Contour. This is in the light to medium shade as well, the shade range. And so first I'm just going to pick up the contour shade right there. I'm just going to be doing the cheekbones, not bringing it down too far because then it will do the opposite effect. Then I like to chisel my jawline. I'm going to pinch my brush and just take a little bit of the contour shade and run it down the side of my nose and also in to where like, my eyebrow meets my nose as well. Another little hack, take your contour shade on a um, eyebrush, just run that through your crease. And that is how one product can be versatile. So normally with my eyeliner look, I do like to just have a little bit of a transition shade and it is usually my bronzer or contour. Now I'm just gonna take the blush shade in the middle When I'm just doing like a statement eyeliner piece, I do like to have a statement glow and I love to go for golden shades with that. So with that being said, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter and this is in Molten Gold. I'm gonna pick it up. My golly gosh. That is just unreal. Just gonna put it on my nose as well. And underneath the brow bone. And Cupid's bow. Now for brows, they're quite visible because A, I have them tattooed on, and B, to freshen up the tattoo, I use the Maybelline Tattoo Gel Tint. Um, so that's why they're already quite there, but I still do want to define them because when I have a defined um, wing, it looks a bit weird without brows done. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Brown Pomade. <laughs> My goodness, I was trying to say the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. <laughs> but that's the one I'm going to go in with.
Now for the main event. When you're a beginner, I highly recommend to go with a felt tip liner just because it is so much easier to work with. Um, it's basically like using a pencil, but it's a liquid so it moves better. So, so that's why today I'm going to be using a felt tip liner. Um, I like to toss up between the Maybelline uh, Master Precise All Day felt tip liner and the Hyper Sharp Wing. Today I'm going to go in with the Hyper Sharp Wing just because I'll show you why I do this actually. So the actual um, tip is flat, so it's like a flat triangle, so when you turn it this way, it is like this, and that really helps you get the sharpness of the wing, but then when you turn it on the flat side, it's quite flat, so it's got a thicker base to fill in the actual liner. So I'll show you how I do it. So what I do first is I like to outline what my actual wing is going to look like. So I normally do a bit of a line on top of my lash line, and I stop there. So I've just done a bit of a base. Then I like to go from my outer corner, right here, and I draw it up. Then I stop. Still using the sharp side, I like to join from the point and drag it down to where we first started the base. And then you've kind of got already your angle for your winged eyeliner. Then I just like to fix up any, if I don't believe it's sharp enough, I'll fix it up. And you can see there's a bit of a negative space inside. That's when I like to turn the brush flat and fill it in there. And it's done. So, line the base, outer corner up, join back the base, done. Now, fix up the flick. Fill in the negative space. Then I just like to clean it up. And to finish up the eyes, I'm just going in with some mascara, just on my bottom lashes because I do already have uh, lash extensions on the tops. I'm going in with the Maybelline Great Lash. And finally, to finish the whole entire look off, I'm going to go in with the lips and I'm going to go, this is whole please, because this is my favourite shade. It's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. And so this one is in the shade Seductress. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys learnt some tips and tricks on how to nail my go-to classic winged eyeliner. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.